Okay, I decided to make a video on how to change the wallpaper on your My Ford Touch in your truck, car, Explorer, whatever you're driving. So I just sent a couple of pictures to my computer here, just from my phone or whatever. Um, I, what the heck is going on here? Clean up. Thought that would put them in order. Anyway, I uh, just sent a couple of, my last one, a little tighten down there dumb thing. Send these to the computer here. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I've done this before, but I don't really know what I'm doing with it, so you'll have to bear with me. I don't know which of these pictures is going to work out the best. However, um, these are the four pictures I'm going to be uh, working with here, just so you can, I don't know, I guess kind of see what's going on. Okay, so I took a picture of my son with my drone, took a picture at the park, 4th of July, I think, and just kind of a cool picture of him. And out dinking around at the sand dunes. So anyway, I thought, I'm going to put a picture of my son on there. So, to do this, I believe you have to have the picture, I think it's 800 by, crap, is it 334 or something? My Ford Touch display, and it's 800 by something, I know. I always have to look. 800 by 384, nice round number. So it's gotta be less than, I think, a megabyte and a half and uh, 800 by 384. So we're gonna take a picture. Let's start, let's start with this one. Okay, how do we do this? Edit, tools. So I'm doing this on a Mac, you can do it on a PC too, just as long as it's the right size. There we go, adjust size. So, width, I want 800, height, 334. Now, obviously, if you crop the image, 3, 334? Crap, what was that? I don't remember what it was already. 384. So, if you crop your picture, yeah, see, this isn't going to do it proportional. You might have to uncheck the little thing that says uh, whether or not you want to do it proportionally. Sorry, I'm looking at the computer instead of at my phone here. So it's, it's not going to make it quite right. See, this one squished it just a little bit, made him short and fat. Um, on the display, it actually doesn't look that bad. So um, that being said, uh, keep that in mind. I don't know. It looks squarely on the computer. It might not look that bad out there. So I'm going to export it. So let's see. Blake at park. I can't can't look at the screen and make sure my phone's on it at the same time. I'm too stupid to do this. So, shows file size. I'm going to crank it up just to, I don't know, make it look good, whatever. As long as it's less than a megabyte and a half. So, I'm going to save this bad boy. And I'm going to save it. Let's see here. So, I've got a 16 gig little flash drive in there. Um, sure, we're going to save it there. Save. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing to these others. So let me rip through here, edit, what is it? Tools, adjust size. So I want 800 by non-proportional, 384. Boom, holy crap, I squished him bad. You know what, let's do this. I forgot I was gonna crop that bad boy first. Adjust size, blah, 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 sky fire. It's not gonna let me crop it. I should have cropped it on my phone before we did it. Okay, never mind. I won't worry about that. Um. I'll do one more just so I can show you in the track. I, I want more than one file, not necessarily to change it, but just so you can kind of see. Just size 800, 384, I believe it was, hopefully. And I'm going to apologize in advance that uh, not only am I not very good at this, export, but also, what am I going to name this? Blake, 4th of July just so I know what it is on the jump drive. But also, apologize for uh, being so slow at this. I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, those should be saved, wherever they went. Okay, and I saved those to a little jump drive. Boop. Okay, so there are the two pictures. I think last, oh, there it is, my Ford Touch. Last time I did this, I've got a round of pictures in there that I did. Hmm. You know what, I don't think, let's do this. My Ford Touch 2. It's going to make it easier to find. Oh, I can't hit buttons with one hand. Dang things. Uh, 
There we go. Having a heck of a time. Okay, got it stored on there. Flash drive out. Yeah, I should have disconnected it first. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so done with the computer. Nobody look at my mess here. Now out to the truck we go. Okay, so here, there it is. There's my F-150, this is a 2015 with the MyFord Touch system. Okay, so you're gonna jump in and find the little USB ports. They're hiding down there. I got a bunch of garbage plugged into it. Pull my little phone charger out. It's never the way you think, so I did it backwards and that's not the way it is. Okay. Truck on. There we go. So there's the last time I did it. So I'm gonna pull up. Turn off, buddy. So you're gonna go in your settings. And then to display, that's where I'm already at, edit wallpaper. Now normally, you have your wallpaper in there, and uh, these are ones I've already added, this is what you can choose from, whatever. So um, I'm gonna go to add, because it doesn't show my jump drive already. So it says it's gotta be uh, one and a half meg or smaller. It says you can have a maximum of 32 photos saved in here. Um, I think I've still got slots open. And then again, 800 by 384 is the biggest you can have it. So it's looking for pictures. I've got USB 1. That's just the little jump drive that I plugged in down there. So um, this is what I have on there. I'm going to go, oops, not that one, my Ford Touch 2. There we go. So here's my two pictures. So here's 4th of July. And it's got it saved. So now it's on like the actual memory of the, I was going to say hard drive, memory of the truck. And we got Blake at the park. So now we got them both on there. So now they're added, then I can go in here and I still have all the photos I had before, whatever, um, but now I've got these others. So now I can go through, save my wallpaper. Okay, and then go home. There it is. It's that simple, folks. Just make sure it's 800 by 384, and uh, just make sure you have something that can uh, size it down to that. Um, make sure it's under a meg and a half. I used a Mac. You can do it on PC. It's probably honestly easier on PC. Uh, Mac is just so easy that it's hard for me. Um, anyway, just for kicks, I'm going to look at my other one, just see how it turned out. Because sometimes they look good on here and sometimes they really don't, honestly. Um, I'll go through some of these others I put on. See, so yeah, I put this one on here and it kind of made us kind of squatty and fat and it was kind of weird. Sometimes they do that because it's not a, it's not a, a 16, 16 by 9 aspect ratio like you would think it is. See, like that one turned out squirrely, whereas normally that's a cool picture. So anyway, you have to screw around with it. That's why I do a couple of them. Uh, let's see, what did I do? Blake at the park. There we go. So I'm gonna save that one, check it out, see how it turns out. And sometimes too, even if they look good on here, you almost have to scope them out because sometimes you take a picture and something ends up behind one of these that are always gonna be there. And so you have to pull it up and have it to where uh, to where it's not in the way of anything. I've had photos before that turned out really good, but it's like you got an eyeball back here behind this button, and you have, and it's just kind of bad layout. But anyway, if you have any questions or anything, um, I don't know a lot about doing this, but hit me up if you do. Um, please don't ask me how to do it on a PC. I'm a Mac guy. I have no idea. But anyway, that's how you do it. Those are the requirements for doing it. Um, just make sure it's under a meg and a half. Make sure it is uh, 800 by 384. And just make sure it's not a photo that's not going to look too weird once you scrunch it because it is going to make everything short and fat. Uh, my son's actually kind of tall for his age. Actually, you can see better proportions on my wife who's hiding over there. Um, it makes you look uh, short and wide rather than proportional. So make sure it's a photo that's not going to matter too much if you do skew the proportions of it. And uh, anyway, it should be saved in there. In fact, we'll kill it. Oh, I guess I'll have to open the door. There we go. Fire it back up. Boom, there it is. So it's that easy.